welcome back to part two of the Respawn Retro Gaming Pickups video, whichever way you want to say it. So, part two, as usual though, I'm Matt, this is my gaming corner, because I sit in a corner as you can kind of tell, and we're going to go into this mystery bag. Now, I have no clue what's in these bags. Remember that. I have no clue. Tony did put in a Game Boy game in here for me. I know he put that one in there. And he said he put an Atari game in here that he says I am going to love. When I was there and I was talking with him, I told him that out of one of the other mystery bags that I did, I got an Atari game out of there. That blew my mind. And if I would go back and search for the video I did, I played that game for like two hours. Forgetting I was recording and doing a video, I played for two hours, so let's see what game you got this time. Alright, we are going to start off with this one here, and it is, I think I got it the right way, here we go, nope, got it the wrong way, Rage, I have this on, is it on my 360 or is it on Steam, I don't know which one, this one is fun, this is a good game, this should be great on the PlayStation 3, but yeah, this one is a blast. I like this game. It's a lot of fun. There's the Anarchy Edition, so I'm thinking it's the same one I might have on the 360. I could be wrong. But this game is a lot of fun. I got nothing wrong with Rage. Alright, this is a Nintendo game. Here we go. Cool. Is that John Elway's quarterback? I think that's John Elway. All right, a football game. I have nothing wrong with football games. I'll be curious on how John Elway's quarterback is, especially compared to the Tecmo, Tecmo Bowl, which I know was the biggest one on the Nintendo, which I am going to be getting that one soon. But, yeah, quarterback. We're going to see how this is. Oh, we got a few that are disc only. Here we go. First one. Upside down. Let's try it the other way. Blastmaster. I wonder if this is... It looks like it. it. looks like it's similar to the old Nintendo games. I hope this is as good as that. This is on the PlayStation 1. So we're going to fire up this on the PlayStation 3 so I can show recordings of it better. But this one should be pretty good. If it's anything like the other Blastmaster games, this should be a blast. Get it? You can keep watching stuff, Liz. Am I annoying you with my talking? No. Well, too bad, because I'm still going to do it. I might even sing. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> On the Wii. Dora, or uh, Diego. Diego, go. Great dinosaur rescue. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't wait to put this one in to give this a try. Wow, my lighting outside changed, so now my face is all red. I can't wait to put this thing in to try this out. This should be fun. I got to finish hooking up the Wii after I moved everything around. But, yeah, Diego. I like him better than Dora, truthfully. Alright, the next loose game. Poof. Dora saved the princess. <laughs> this one I actually got already. I actually think this might have been the copy I gave to him. Um... Because I remember that PGG on there. I'm almost positive. I have to go back through some old videos that I did. But anyway, look at it. It's fine by me. Um, Dora Save the Princess. I have played this one before. It's actually not terrible. These type of games, it's weird. They're not meant for us adults. So when we play them, a lot of times they are very easygoing. You can turn your mind off and just play. And you can just relax, which is a weird thing to say when you're playing a Dora game. Alright, a couple more in here. We're going to save that Atari one for last, because I know that was it. Alright, Super Nintendo. This way. Alright, here we go. Baseball Simulator, is that 1,000? My camera's not focusing. 1,000. So I have a Baseball Simulator 2000 on the Genesis that was made by EA. I don't know if this is EA. But that one was good. It was futuristic. This one, can't wait to see what it is. Um, 
I used to be a huge fan of baseball when I was younger, actually watching the Brewers in that play. I haven't watched baseball in years. But baseball games are still a lot of fun. All right, what's the next one? Ah, here's that Game Boy game he threw in there. Let's see, is what work backwards? I can't tell. There's the screw, so it must be this way. Let's see, boom! <laughs> Mary, is that Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen? Yep. <laughs> uh, get a clue. I'm hoping that, because I still haven't tested out the Game Boy player yet, I'm hoping it worked, because, yeah, we gotta check this thing out. We gotta see this. Oh, man. Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen. <laughs> I got three Game Boy games now. All right, here we go with that Atari. Is there anything? What else is in there? No, oh, okay. All right, the Atari game. This one I'm very interested in seeing. This will be the ending gameplay footage where I'll probably talk about it more, especially if it's... I'm not questioning. He said this game is great, so I got a feeling it's going to be. I think I got it the right way. Here we go. Bowling. This, I don't think I have a bowling game at all on my Atari. I probably had this when I was younger, a lot younger. And I'm almost going to say 100% he's right. This is going to be a blast. It's using the joystick, so it shouldn't be hard to figure out the controls. This should be a blast to play. All right, so let's go to some gameplay footage of this one. We're going to put it full screen, and I'm going to talk about it while it's on there, let you know what my thoughts are on bowling on the Atari. All right, so here we are inside the bowling game. Now, it takes me a few minutes here to get it going because I thought we were just going to start with the controller, so we got to give it a few minutes here. But I have to agree with Tony. This is a lot of fun. I played this thing for I don't even know how long, was trying to beat my high score. It's just, it's a relaxing and very fun game. Listen, I don't think I have this one on my Atari any way else. I think this is now a new one for me on here. I do remember this from way, way back when I was younger. But yeah, this game is a lot of fun. It's amazing how fun something so simple can be. It is just, I don't know how else to describe it besides for it is a blast. Yes, the graphics are very simple on the Atari. That is not a lie. I mean, your bowling ball doesn't look like a bowling ball. Those don't look like pins. You know, it's not as fancy as the Xboxes and Playstations and PCs and stuff. But you do get a lot of enjoyment out of this game. By the way, if you do uh, have things about flashing lights, watch out. I should have warned you about that. When you get a spare or a strike, you get flashing lights. Amazing we didn't hear about a lot of seizures back then when these games came out. But yeah, um, my biggest thing was I was trying to figure out how to get a strike every time. Um, you know, it's definitely, physics-wise, it's probably not, you know, nowhere near like physics are now or anything. But you can definitely see some, I would call them ball physics, but whoever programmed it, programmed it pretty good because the ball moves in some very interesting ways. You can curve the ball after you throw it, so right when you get down to the pins, you can actually curve it if you need to a little bit which is some of the stuff I was trying. But yeah, I mean, this game is a lot of fun. You know, I really need to thank Tony and his wife and his kids and all that for these mystery bags that they make up for me. They do an excellent job on them. I love the mystery bags. Like I said in this video, um, that Dora game, I'm almost 100% positive when I did a, um, when I was part of Video Game Monthly, I did one of their Wii, you know, 70 games or whatever thing. I had two of those door games in there. One of them was CD only, one of them was complete in box. I'm almost 100% positive the one that he had in the mystery bag was the one that I got before. And like I said, I'm not worried about that. That's not an issue. If I get doubles and something like that, that is fine. You know, I can't complain with that when they make up mystery bags for me. I mean, I actually, right now, I think I have, like, four copies of Forza Motorsports right now. And that even what that wasn't even from Tony's Mystery Bay. I think I got one out of his. I already owned one. And then I don't remember where I got the other two from, but I got two more out of... It was probably something from the Video Game Monthly or something like that, where I got extra ones again. But, yeah. 
Let's get back to this bowling game for a minute here. So as you can see, I'm on frame 10. Totally missed that last shot. 125. This is my last shot. My fault. I was going for a spare. So what I did here is after I got done with this game, I fired up another one and tried to beat my high score. 133. Not too bad for, you know, my first time playing this in a long time. But sometimes going back to simple graphics, because graphics don't have to be extremely perfect. Sometimes just simple graphics is all you need to have an enjoyable game, and this is definitely enjoyable. Well, I know this was just a small review of the game here. I want to talk about one other game that you saw a little bit of gameplay footage of. Like I said, my Wii is not hooked up right now. I still have to hook that one on up. But I want to talk about that Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen game. For that game, being on the Game Boy, and, you know, I had no clue what it was, what it was supposed to be. I played that game, I think, for probably about a good 40 minutes. I got through a bunch of the small little find the puzzle pieces, find the puzzle pieces. I enjoyed the fact that at first when I started playing that game, I did not know you could change between the three characters on the thing. And I picked up the dog and I threw him around a bunch of times. That's part of where I had my fun. I was throwing the dog around. I'm sorry, people who love dogs. I was tossing that dog everywhere. Thought it was hilarious. But, all right. That Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen game is fun. I still need to do some streaming of these games for my Let's Plays. That's really what I want to do. Um, right now, on Mondays when I said I'll be starting to stream, I'm actually working on some drawings for my daughter. So that's kind of taking up my time. But other than that, let's go back to the ending of this video. All right, so this is where this video will technically end at. I'll let you guys watch off these last four frames here, and you can see where my high score was. I have not beaten this score yet. And I did try for several, maybe not hours, but I tried for a long time to beat it after I was done after I was done recording, I guess you could say. But I do want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.